Hi, my name is Pamela Price. I am the owner of Price's Beauty Studio, as well as the trainer from Toronto for spray tan class. I want to share with you how I recommend you care for your spray tan. So after you have your tan, if it is a traditional tan, you're going to want to wait at least eight hours prior to rinsing that off. Depending on the solution, you could keep it up to 24 hours. If you're doing a rapid or an express tan, you want to check with your tanning technician, but usually one to six hours is what's recommended. In your first shower, you want to treat it more like a rinse. So you're not gonna get in there and start scrubbing. If you need to use soap, I would suggest a clear shower gel. However, I would avoid the soap if you can during your first session. If you work out a lot, you can use a dry powder and put them in the areas where your clothes might rub, such as underneath the bra line or anywhere where you're finding that the tan might fade quicker because it's getting a lot of friction or if you're sweating. So that's one trick that you can do. The other thing that you can do to extend the tan is to actually use a gradual tanner. Usually I tell my clients around day three or day four, whenever you're noticing the tan is starting to get a little bit lighter, that's when you can start incorporating that self tanner option. You can really extend your tan up to a couple weeks, three weeks, as long as you really want. However, I would recommend that you do do a full exfoliation and get all that self tan and tan off prior to your next appointment. Thanks so much. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, you can pop them below. Otherwise, hit me up on Instagram at PricesBeautyGram or check us out at SprayTanClass.com.